Hi campers! I hope you had an awesome day at camp. Burke and I are here with the sketchbooks that we made today. I think that mine is super fancy. I think mine is simple and efficient and gets the job done. And mine's got this fantastic tie looped around the binding and it like keeps out all the haters and lets me shine. Well, mine shines really easy because it's got a star on it. I mean, I don't see really much of a star on yours. It's, it's kind of I kinda don't quiet. need a star because I'm the star. Shine bright like a diamond. So alone in the sky. No. I'm just like, I'm just like stoked on my sketchbook because like, it's just like, it's like pretty and like simple and like rustic. We definitely need more earth tones. They like, they like round out my color because I'm an autumn. Really, you're an autumn. Yeah, people say that. However, what are you gonna put in these? That's a good question because it's not just what the cover's about, is it? I mean, some people say that beauty's on the inside. So I think that we should go and check out someone who can teach us how to fill up our sketchbooks. Let's go and meet with our special guest, Valerie LaPointe, and find out how to use a sketchbook. Hi, my name is Valerie LaPointe, and I am a story artist at Pixar Animation Studios. My job involves a lot of drawing and figuring out the story and characters for the films that we work on. And I use sketchbooks all the time, whether it's practicing my drawing to get better or just jotting down ideas I have, or sometimes thumbnailing all my little sketches for a scene that I have to draw. When I'm coming up with ideas or trying to draw out uh, a scene in the movie or just practice drawing, I like to go outside and find a really nice place to sit. So I have lots of different sketchbooks. Sometimes I have bigger ones, smaller ones. Lately, I like to carry around a small one because it's really easy to stick in my pocket or in my bag. And I love to just start drawing people in particular. It'd be in a restaurant or in a park. Um, it helps me practice drawing. Sometimes I have a bigger one. And I also like to use sketchbooks to jot down ideas or keep track of things that inspire me. So I may uh, paste something that I find. I love when sketchbooks have a pocket in the back. So this is great. If there's little pieces of uh, pictures or notes or things, I can keep them in there to help uh, remember things. Sometimes I start sketching and I'll remember things when I was a kid and I like to come up with ideas that way. Um, or I just like to draw the things around me. So I find a good spot, sit down, and take it in. So when we're working on films, we have to come up with the ideas, the characters, and then we either have a script we work with or we just have a list of ideas. And then for that to become a movie, we have to draw every picture, every shot, kind of like a comic book. So in my job, I draw my ideas, I write things down, and then I would start what we call thumbnailing, which means that I maybe draw a bunch of boxes in a row and I'm sort of sketching out everything that's going to happen in the film, in the picture. Really tiny drawings. That way I can figure out what I want before I draw them bigger for my job. The great thing about a sketchbook is that it's a physical thing. Computers are fun. I love them. I collect lots of things on my computer too, but I love how in a sketchbook I can find a random picture or a photo um, and paste it into my book right next to a doodle or a note or an idea I have. It's really quick to just whip it out, put everything down, and then it's really nice to be able to flip through it and see all those ideas and sort of review everything I've been thinking. So I've been keeping sketchbooks since I was eight years old and I love to look back through them and see the ideas I came up with, even the ones that have really bad drawings in them. They have so many thoughts and, and different sketches in there that I like to go back through it. And sometimes I get a new idea now from something I drew 10 years ago. So they're definitely an amazing uh, kind of journal or diary of not just your thoughts, but everything you're visualizing and thinking in your day. So even if you don't think of yourself as an artist, keeping a sketchbook is a great way to just keep track of all your ideas. And the truth is, is art and drawing, like anything else, if you practice it enough, you're going to get better at it. And having a sketchbook candy is a great way to just take it out, start sketching. When, you have, when you're bored and you're sitting somewhere, you need something to do, you can always have your sketchbook candy. 
Wow, Paloma, we really learned a lot from that video. I mean, so much. I mean, you're just really knee deep in there. You're just going and drawing any, what are you drawing? I just got like so inspired from this video that mm. I'm like, I'm like, I could like totally work there. Like yeah. I'm handing in this video Th this as one. my resume, hashtag so, YOLO, whoa. hashtag resume, hashtag swag. They're so gonna hire you. Yeah. And what am I gonna do though? Like I'm gonna be stuck here by myself. This is perfect. Oh. All right. Well, meanwhile, that'll just add more ammo to uh, my careful writing. While you were sitting there drawing self-portraits, I was going deep into my soul and, uh, you know, wrote, wrote some poetry. And uh, I, I used that poetry to create a, a, a screenplay so that we would have an effective storyline. Uh, it's very detailed and it's 17 chapters. You should you should post that on the on the community page. That's and, a good idea. And campers, I hope you post pictures on the community page too, because we want to see everything that you're writing. It's not just about how awesome it looks on the outside, but we want to see what you put inside of your sketchbook. I hope you get ready for the film festival and post all of your ideas, and you might get a chance to be featured in an upcoming video. So keep an eye out for that. Also, I really want to see if one of you can put a narwhal on it. Wow, really? Burke, narwhals are the unicorns of the sea. Right. Okay, well, you can check out more of Paloma on the Maker of Camp community, where she can give you feedback on your sketchbooks, and she might take a deep personal look into your psyche. Be prepared for that. See you tomorrow, campers! <laughs>